I want to talk to you now about the different notes or note duration. In music we have different notes that tell us how long to hold each note, what the duration is. My students like pizza, well most of them, and so I like to use the illustration of pizza. This is about the size of a of a slice that I normally eat out of the full pizza. It's this section of pizza. It represents, well you can get eight slices like this out of a whole pizza. This is one-eighth of a pizza. This represents a fourth of a pizza. Much smaller version, but this would be if you cut a pizza into four slices. This represents one-half of the pizza. Just cut it down the middle, you've got half a pizza. And this represents the whole pizza. Now it's much bigger usually, you know, 15, 17 inches, but this is what it would look like. One round full pizza. Now if you think about the four basic notes that we're going to be using to play the guitar, you can represent each one of them with a portion size of the pizza. For instance, a whole note is just a round circle. Sometimes they make it a little bit of an oval shape, but there's nothing connected to it and it's not filled in. That represents a whole note and it's worth four beats. Half of that is a half note and it looks like a whole note but it has a little stick or we call it a stem. And so the half note gets two beats. It's worth half as much as the whole note. If you fold it in half again, you get a quarter note. There are four quarter notes per whole note. The whole note's worth four beats. The half note's worth two beats. The quarter note's worth one beat. Or you hold it when you play it for one beat. And then, if you fold the quarter note in half, if you cut that slice in half, you get what we call an eighth note. An eighth note is only held for one half of a beat. You can get two eighth notes in every quarter note. You can get four eighth notes in every half note at the same time. And there are eight eighth notes in one whole note, the equivalent of one whole note. And that's why we call them eighth notes. They're worth one eighth the amount. If you look on this sheet, you'll see how each of these notes look. First the whole note, just a round circle, it gets four beats. Then the half note. It looks like a whole note with a little stick, or we call that a stem, connected to it. And that's two beats. And notice that there are the equivalent of two half notes for every whole note, because a whole note is four beats. Then your quarter note looks like a half note, but the note head, the round part, is all filled in and each one of the quarter notes equals one beat. And so you can get four quarter notes for each whole note. The eighth notes look like quarter notes, but they're tied together or have a little flag on them, and they are worth one half beat each. And that's why you can get eight of them, two, four, six, eight, in the same time as you can get one whole note. Those are the basic notes that we're going to use in the guitar class. Now, you need to know that playing notes is not what music is all about. Part of the time we're silent, and we call that a rest. So for each one of these notes, there's an equivalent rest. The whole note has a whole rest that looks like a hat that's tipped over. The half note has its equivalent half rest. It looks like a hat on somebody's head. The quarter note has a quarter rest. Some people say it looks kind of like a bird in flight. The eighth note has an eighth rest. Kind of looks like the number seven with a little ball at the front of it.